Alright, what's going on everybody? Matthew here. And uh, this video I'm doing a review on the uh, what is being sold on the Hack 5 site for it's being called well it's being sold as the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And um, basically all it is is just a a uh, alpha network uh, uh, access point slash router is all this device is. This is uh, what it looks like. I don't know how it shows up in the camera and all. But it's a uh, it's just a, a wireless uh, alpha network um, access point slash router combination. It's like a combo kind of like thing. And basically and many people who have uh, ever ever done any type of firmware flashing for your, your router and all. Uh, this is all that, that the Wi-Fi Pineapple really is. Is that it's a uh, firmware that was modded. Uh, I believe it's um, a modded OpenWRT. Uh, this is basically all it is on this with some uh, good stuff that they added onto it. Which uh, basically the, the the cons to this I'm going to start out with is that this thing costs a uh, hundred dollars, close to a hundred dollars, if you're buying it from Hack Five. Now, if you do some research, if you if you have some time, you can actually save yourself some money and just look on eBay for this thing. Uh, the actual model number for this is AP-121U. That's the uh, letter U, and that's what it is. When you search for this on Google. Uh, it comes up as a uh, alpha network um, access point slash router is all it is, and uh, it's portable and all. So it's basically a small, a small router slash access point is basically all it is. And of course, if you want, you can get yourself a cable that will actually um, go into this device, and you can use your your, your laptop battery to give this uh, a power and all because I got a uh, see if I can find my cable here on my desk this is basically my USB cable I don't know how well this will show up on the cam and all but uh, this is a USB cord it plugs into your laptop or your computer or any device that can uh, have a USB cable and then it has the DC adapter right here which uh, plugs into the back of this uh, Wi-Fi pineapple now I just want to tell you like I was saying, uh, you can save yourself some money and research this device online. I believe it's like uh, 60 something dollars if you were to buy it from a guy on eBay that was currently selling a couple of them on eBay for like I think 60 something dollars. So if you check eBay or check Amazon, I'm sure you might be able to find this cheaper unless you really want to pay like 100 bucks for it like I did. And if you don't want to spend you know, close to hundred dollars for this thing. Uh, your best bet is to buy this thing online, and then flashing the firmware yourself, which really isn't hard. Um, all you do is just log into the actual, uh, just log into this modem here, like you do your router, and then upload the the firmware that you can get from Hack5.org, and then you can have a Wi-Fi pineapple that you flash yourself. Unless you don't want to go through all that trouble and do it yourself, but it could save you some money in the long run since you can do it yourself and all. Uh, let's see what else though. Let's see. Okay. You can actually get this this USB DC adapter thing right here uh, from Amazon.com. I don't remember what the actual what the actual name of this thing was called, but uh, I believe it's okay, what it is is it's a three foot the three foot USB type M barrel five volt DC power cable is what it is, but it's powered by a USB A male cable. So that's pretty much what it is. You can search for this on uh, Amazon.com, that's where I got it. I got it for less than $5. I don't know if you can see that real well, well or not on the camera and all, but that's what it is. And this is the site that I, the company that I had got it from. They shipped it in this little bag from Amazon.com. So yep. Now, um, 
Some of the features on this thing I guess I'll show you is uh, it has of course the antenna port for the antenna which is this antenna right here. Of course you can get you can probably find yourself a better one to actually use for this or get yourself a booster, an antenna booster, and then you know, find yourself a, a better antenna if you don't want something like this. It has the WAN and the, the LAN port here. I don't know how that well shows up and all. But uh, that is for connecting your your laptop or computer that's going to run off of Ethernet with. This port right here, the PoE LAN, is what I use to... Um, I'm not really sure about this port too well, but I know I use this because for some reason this, this LAN... WAN LAN doesn't uh, work too well, so I'm guessing that uh, a PoE LAN, uh, LAN is to put your Ethernet cable in and then plug it into your laptop. So if you're going to do some more driving and you want to uh, use your phone's 3G service, or if you find a Wi-Fi spot like a Starbucks that's giving away free Wi-Fi, you can actually uh, use this. And I will probably do a video explaining what I'm talking about with the uh, with using uh, Starbucks's Wi-Fi to feed this device internet and all and then get uh, victims and connect to it. You can check out uh, Zarbyte.com for uh, for more information on that. I'll probably do a video on it. So keep an eye out uh, over there. And it's got the power which this can uh, it I believe yeah it comes with an this thing comes with an AC adapter. The downfall about the AC adapter is you have to carry it everywhere you want to go with you. So if you want to carry this thing around with you, wherever you know, the AC adapter to like every place we're going to go, then that's fine. I guess you can do that. But you can get like a USB cable or some other cable to power it up. And in the front you got a USB cable. From what they said on Hack 5, they said that you can actually feed this USB port power so it can, um, I guess it's like a multi-USB port. From what they're saying, you can actually transfer data to this port, and you can also give it power to this port, which is surprising. But anyways, so if you can find a USB cable, I have, and I have no idea where, where you can get a USB cable for this that will feed power to this, but if you can, then you can do that. And then it has the uh, the reset button down here, so if you want to reset the, the uh, device and put it back to default settings with the default, with the... Uh, with the same, but the Wi-Fi Pineapple uh, firmware, of course, it won't, it won't uh, put the original firmware on. But anyways, so that's that's that. And of course, got these little uh, labels on here, and then of course, it's got a WPS button. I don't know how well you all can see that, but there is a WPS button, which is right there. This will actually, this you can turn on WPS and turn it off if you don't want it on, I guess. I don't know if the WPS button works on this or not with the modded firmware, so I don't really know. But I know that the uh, WPS light does show up with the uh, with the current firmware, even though I haven't tried turning the WPS off and all. So that's just a quick review on the Wi-Fi Pineapple. If you want to know how to use this thing, I'll possibly do a video. On it, I really don't upload my videos to uh, YouTube anymore because I've gotten, I've been given some some crap by YouTube for a way to do some videos. I guess I'm not being able to uh, follow their policy, so they don't want me on. Uh, they don't really. They've already banned one of my YouTube accounts for a few weeks now. So yeah, that's just a quick review on the uh, the Wi-Fi pineapple. If you have any questions. You can actually uh, leave them in the description below and also check out Zarbyte.com after this video it's for uh, some uh, useful stuff over there. I'll possibly get around to trying to do a video on using this thing. I know there probably are some already on YouTube. I know somebody else did a video on using them. But uh, yeah. Anyway, this has been Matthew. And uh, so if you want to check out Zarbyte.com after this video, feel free to and leave some comments if you like and if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching.